Good evening, everybody. Crypto Strang here. This evening, we'll talk about Polkadot. They released their new roadmap this week, and obviously, it's a project I've spoken about often on here. It's one of the biggest holdings, Polkadot. This and Cardano are sort of my favorite smart contract platforms. I just love what Polkadot are doing. It sort of goes under the radar a lot, Polkadot, I find. It's not sort of in the news as much as, for instance, Cardano, but it's, it's an absolutely fantastic project. Company ranked number 11, market just literally under 7 billion. Volume in the last 24 hours, just over 185 million. It's always so active within the trading, within people's interest. Polkadot, you know, the next bull run, for example, I'm sure it would do fantastic that I did last time. Last all-time high was actually last November when we reached $55, currently $6.24. So there's a lot of growth here. You've got to think about long-term, long-term hold. Obviously not financial advice, but me personally, I hold my Polkadot and hold it for long-term. A lot of people expected Polkadot to go a lot higher. It did last in the bull run, so did I. In fact, we reached $55, and the previous year was only $2. Again, it was testament to the project and their future plans, but it's always developing. So this week, that new roadmap, which we've been waiting for for quite a while, many different parts to it. The bit that really sort of caught me interest was the governance overhaul. Polkadot's governance system is getting ready to evolve. We've been keeping an eye on the developments of the blockchain space, in particular the future allow for projects which are either fully decentralized or which are not decentralized. Now, partial decentralization is a category which is fading quickly. So what they're talking about, the novel governance system removes the council and technical committees to make it more decentralized. So it states here also the novel governance system is scheduled to be deployed on Kusama at the beginning of the fourth quarter of 2022. Okay. So that is, again, absolutely fascinating to see. When you go through Polkadot and you see updates, it really sort of can, could be a massive project for the Web3, really sort of being really forefront and actually producing this and being ready for Web3.0. So when you also scroll through, I talked about collective parachain. This is where Polkadot is very in-depth with its technology and really goes in-depth into cryptography. But collective parachain, the common good parachains team is working on final testing for new parachain. Polkadot Collectives. This parachain be home to numerous collectives that form the service of Polkadot Network. So there's many different parachains. You've got your, your main parachain, which is sovereign blockchains that can have their own tokens and optimize their functionality for specific use cases, so allowing other blockchains within Kusama and Polkadot. You've also got your relay chain. This is the main, what you call the main part of Polkadot, should we say, responsible for the network shared security consensus and cross-chain interoperability. This is where it all comes together. So much different parts to it, okay? It really goes to say it's really in depth when you read into this roadmap. Also like the bridge hub. Now, on the bridges four, this obviously allows parachains and parathreads to connect and basically communicate with external networks like your Ethereum, your Bitcoin, etc. But I say obviously you can expand this as well. It states here, we're not so much state about the bridge change, easy wrapped asset, but rather forward message to other parachains like statement to handle. The launch plan has been worked on with a plan launch by end of the year. So the bridge hub, I think, is actually imperative. You know, the common good parachains team will work on launching parachains on both Kusama and Polkadot, Polkadot to serve as bridge hubs for each network. Now, also this article on CoinMarketCap, we talked about, you know, Polkadot announced new updates for its roadmap, we're talking about, it's also talking about increasing its transaction speed by at least 10x. Okay, now that is obviously fascinating to see. States there at the moment, it would increase the performance on the network to between 100,000 and 1 million transactions per second from the current 1,000, which is obviously extremely low. The network plans to achieve this by shortening the parachain's block time to six seconds and increasing each block's block space. Okay, so again, that I find that absolutely fascinating what they're stating there, but also. There was a fascinating article on CryptoSlate.com. I'll put the link below, really went in depth more in the roadmap. It's also about parathreads. Again, this is another part. This is, again, we're going really in depth here. I know this is similar to the parachains, but this is more like a pay-as-you-go model, more economical for blockchain that don't need continuous connectivity to the network. So let's say pay-as-you-go type model. So the fact they're actually doing this and increasing more, I think over time, this is going to be massive. Now, Various news articles based in the first half of 2023, they sort of lean towards the second quarter of 2023. I think it's absolutely massive, you know, like a pay as you go model. So it's always not, you know, I, just, I think that really could be huge that you don't need continuous connectivity to the network. So, power of threads, I think, really is absolutely fascinating. Now, there's many different parts. I say to the roadmap, talk about nomination pools, the blog post with the Polkadot ecosystem was working towards a nomination pool and fast unstake upgrade. Okay, now also talked about. Now, just for on that staking, I'm pretty sure someone Binance, to be honest. Now, this may be me being a bit lazy, but I find it really easy on Binance, to be honest. You know, they're doing some great 
um, things at the moment on Binance when it, comes, when it comes to Polkadot. You can see there, locking for 120 days, you're getting 20.98%. 30 days, 11%. Simple Learn, where it's flexible, it's 4.20%. So as much as they introduce all this staking, various pools you can join, all that, etc., you could probably be like me and be a bit lazy and just use Binance. And I've never had any problems with Binance when it comes to staking. I've used it for quite a few years now. I've never had any problems whatsoever. You may get slightly better APR somewhere else. You may do. However, they make it so simple on Binance to do staking, to earn your passive income. That's what I personally use. But again, you've got to do your own research. Okay. Now, also, other developments included XCM version 3, improvement of the XCM universal language. This is the cross-consensus messaging. It's a universal language, which is for cross-chain communication that can be operated inside and outside. It's scheduled for deployment of Kusama by the end of this year. Okay, again, that's absolutely fascinating to see. Um, it states there have improved the target of staking bridges and community building. So they're constantly developing. But the fact that the roadmap have issued this updated roadmap, I find absolutely fascinating. I think we've got massive potential here with Polkadot again. But to take some profits, last ball one. Not much as I obviously should have done. We're now back at $6. However, long term, I'm never going to get rid of all my polls. I've got some here being held for a long, long time. Always take a certain percentage for that profits. You've got to do your own research. There's so many sites also, I must say, about the parachains. There is literally so many sites. It's unbelievable. This is where the custom blockchain is anchored to the relay chain that uses computing resources to confirm that transactions are accurate. So basically, people bid on to get on the parachains, okay? Now, there's many, many, many different projects. Literally, there is. Um, it's fairly determined which blockchains get to leverage the Kusama or Polkadot relay chains and distribute computer power. The networks use parachain slot auctions. So you can see here, but as I say, you actually see it on CoinMarketCap as well, all the different auctions, but there is a dedicated website like this, parachains.info. Um, it can support up to 100 parachains. I just think it's fascinating again, uh, when these sovereign blockchains can have their own tokens and optimize their functionality for specific use, case, use cases using Kasama or Polkadot. Okay, now this is absolutely incredible. There's a big names here, you can see on the screen, massive names of Carla, I mentioned that before, Centrifuge Clover Finance is another good one. So I think when you go back to Polkadot, look on Comarco at $6.24. Me, say not financial advice, this to me is absolutely fantastic. Now circulating supply is 1.12 billion, the total supply is 1.2, we'll never know the actual max supply. Okay, but I, Personally, think this is absolutely huge long term for the next ball run. Say, currently ranked number 11, you're perfectly positioned. And with this, you know, with this new roadmap, and I think it's really geared for Web 3.0, I think it's got a huge potential. I really do like Polkadot. It's been one of my top 10 holdings for a long time now by value. So, thanks very much. Please tell me your thoughts on Polkadot. Please also hit that like, subscribe, comment, smash through that YouTube algorithm. I do appreciate everyone who supports the channel. We'll chat again soon. Cheers now. Bye.